All right, guys. Well, I uh, worked on the derby car a little bit. I decided to just do my best to get it fixed and ready um, to derby. Uh, I've got a couple months yet before actual derby. Um, so, I it's a good thing I actually went and reread the rules um, compared to last. I haven't read the rules or anything since last year. Uh, good thing I did read them. The cla the promoters for my area, they no longer allow welded bumpers. I was going to weld that bumper on, but they don't allow welded bumpers. So I had to put the stock aluminum one on. I'm not happy about it. After one hit, it's gonna break. Because if you can see, Right there, right here. And where else? Well, you can even see it better right here. All that cracked, cracked on that one too. One, maybe two hits, boom. It's coming off, I won't have a front bumper anymore. So, uh, they don't allow uh, welded bumpers anymore. Bolt only, bolt on only. Um, this, car after after this year will be no longer allowed to run in the stock class the reason being is because of my welds my doors are welded my trunk is welded five inches on five inches off five inches on all the way down that is no longer going to fly according to the promoters. They're gonna make, that is illegal. Uh, my area, basically the whole entire state has, is going to the chain and go for the stock class. This car, if it does not get trashed this year, will have to run in a modified compact class for next year. Um, yeah, we're not allowed to, according to the rules, I've contacted multiple promoters today. I've been on the phone pretty much all day. Um, we're not allowed to reinforce the struts, not allowed to reinforce tie rods. Uh, no more welding on the cars whatsoever. Chain the doors, nine wire the trunks, nine wire the hood. That's it. Strip it, pull the interior, you know, glass, all the trim chain wire and go fuel tank still has to be in the rear seat compartment uh bar has to be behind the driver's seat and a bar in the driver's door um you can weld those they will allow you to weld your cage material in but that's all the welding you can do so, um, my motor mounts that I custom made for this motor, I won't be able to run them in a stock class. Even, um, they do not want, you're not allowed to chain the motors, you're not allowed to make anything solid, has to be, yeah, right there. Solid pipe motor mount. Not allowed in the stock class no more for this year. Um, luckily, there is still one promoter that will allow this kind of car to be in their shows. Um, the only thing that they are running this year as far as the updated rules that everybody else has is the bumpers bolt on bumpers only I'm not gonna lie it kind of makes me mad and it irritates me because I don't have the money to build a modified car if I had a money to build a modified car I'd build this into a modified and just run modified compacts this year but I don't have the money 
on but so it kind of irritates me that i still have this car from last year it didn't get totaled out so that kind of irritates me um that's the only thing other than that the concept of going back to a chain and go style rules i absolutely love the idea you know people like me who don't have a lot of money that want to do this sport it gives them an opportunity and a little bit more of a equal playing field so i like the idea i just don't like it at least this year at this moment in time because this was last year's car and everything i've done to this car was last year and it passed any derby i wanted to go to for the stock class so but it is what it is got to live with it so um rebolted the bumper back on i as you can see my radiator hose i had a lot of complaints from people i had the overflow bottle and the heater core i actually mounted last year to my dash bar had a lot of complaints about that and uh the inspector did not like that but they allowed me to run it but this year i went ahead and eliminated all that so that is where i fill the radiator so basically it's just gonna get full and i'll zip tie it somewhere when it gets closer to the derby just run it whatever water spills out spills out so i did that did the bumper uh my shifter good friend of mine who races dirt late models gave me the aftermarket shifter so this way i can put in my car uh the stock shifter bound up and broke and no longer was able to shift anymore uh so he gave me this so i'm making my own custom derby shifter whatever you want to call it um so i want to thank him i won't mention his name i don't know if he'll he'll like that or not so i won't mention his name but uh he knows who he is if he watches it so uh, I'm going to put that in, and I think I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. Bye.